Greetings, everyone. Hope you're all enjoying this. Happy Halloween. It's a special October 31st matchup in the NBA here on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge is joining us from the sideline. Hey, Dave. Well, thanks very much, guys. Now, it's no secret at the end of quarters, players will wait until just after the buzzer sounds to fire up heaves so they won't hurt their field goal percentage. To encourage a nothing-to-lose approach on these plays, many say it's past time that the league only counts the makes in those situations. Kevin, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, it is. Do it. Thanks, T.A. With so much of the season still in front of us, Smitty, what does the main focus have to be for a team on, on any given night? Well, winning's never a bad idea, Kevin. These games mean just as much now as they do in April. You can work on rotations and chemistry, but don't let it cost you wins. And the Houston Rockets starting five. Porter Jr. is the point with Green on the wing. Smith is out there with Jayshon Tate. And it's Gordon in at the three set. And for the Clippers, the wing pairing, George and Leonard. Post tandem for him, Morris and Zubox. And it's Jackson in at the point guard position. Zubox, and he makes that one. Great find by Leonard. When the offense runs through you time and time again, you have to become a good playmaker. Now here's Porter. Finished off by Porter. Hey, ducks aren't always for the big fella. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Here's George. Outside Leonard. Zubats with the screen for Leonard. Tate with the rebound. On offense, here are the Rockets. First quarter just over a minute played. Smith the pass to Green. Up and in on the lane. Putting his size to use. Green's got great length and it helps him there inside. Passes it to Zubats. He kicks to Jackson. Sinks the triple. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. When he's feeling good, he can help you stretch the defense a lot. Now, here's Porter. To the paint, here's Smith. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Solid job of moving the ball by Green, setting up a teammate. And the pass to Zubats. And there's the call on Kevin Porter. Kevin Porter. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Here's George. Last time out, he had 14 points. Jackson passes to Zubats. It's good. That's just good basketball. Can't ask for a better look. Rockets have gotten their first three shots to go in for them to start off this game. Boy, this hurts to have to bring up, but I was there for the Rockets title winning days back in 94 when I was with the Knicks. I saw Houston in the finals firsthand. Green, no luck. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Dishes to Leonard. Outside Jackson. Zubats a screen on green. Here's Jackson. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Jackson's got five points so far. Back to back titles for the Rockets in the mid 90s. You were just talking about that. Greg, what sticks out to you about those teams? First and foremost, the dream. Uh, Hakeem Olajuwon, he doesn't get his due at times, but the dream is one of the all time greats. Olajuwon's defense really changed games. And with Kevin Porter Jr. and Michael Porter Jr. and Otto Porter Jr. Uh, Guys, I'm sensing a pattern here. <laughs> it can even get a little confusing at times, but no relation that I'm aware of. They're just porters, juniors, and quality NBA players. Oh. 
and Porter. No good on that one. And one of those guys who fell in the draft the year he came out due to injury. Porter healed up and has taken the lead by storm. Now here's Jackson. He has five. Pass to Zubac. And George kicks to Jackson. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Just two to shoot. A three from Leonard. Rockets with the rebound. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Clippers team. We have two conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. So you know each game they play will hold a lot of importance to both teams. Can't fault the play call. Even though he could convert, that's a good shot. From deep, George. Good on the triple. You need guys who can stretch the floor or the offense doesn't flow. Paul George is one of the best at it. Green kicks to Porter. At the elbow, Smith. Green against George. Out to Smith. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Jalen Green. Green's got his third assist on the night. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Puts up a three. And another three for the Clippers. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Here's Porter. They kick it out to Green. That three off the mark. And they bump this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Jackson deciding where to go with it. Leonard the pass to Zubac. It's taken away by Smith. Here's Tate. And Tate throws it down. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Now here's Jackson. Eight points for him. Smith with it. Pass to Tate. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. Just impressed with the teamwork out there. Setting the table for one another. Clippers have gone six of nine. Shooting it well. And here's Jackson. Nine point game his last outing. Zubats with the screen for Jackson. Out to Morris. Porter against Jackson. Screen by Zubats. Five on the clock. And the dunk by Zubats. I tell you what, he is one guy you do not stand in the way of when he decides to attack the basket. Porter against Jackson. Porter inside. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Last outing for Houston, it was a loss to Phoenix. Zubats a screen on green. Leonard finds Zubats. Outside, George. Off target from three-point range. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Here's Tate. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. For decades, the Clippers were almost directionless. But they found their place in the NBA, becoming a franchise that competes in the West. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Clippers. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. You also have to admire how they've challenged the defense inside, getting a lot of points in the paint. No good on the free throw. And the West, you know, is very difficult. But Steve, for the Clippers, how much of their success is tied to their identity? Kevin, a lot of it. They become a hard-nosed team, hanging their hat on defense, playing together, making opponents earn everything they get. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Robert Covington's checked in for Zubats. Batum comes in for Morris. Powell, he's checked in for Leonard. And it's John Wall in for Jackson. 
the Clippers have gone 7 to 13, just over 50% from the floor. Some good looks. All with it, Matthews covering. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Defensive. What a great finish there from Wall. It's clear he doesn't fear anyone when he's looking to score. And after not playing for a season, John Wall back in action. Bought out by the Rockets and he signs with the Clippers. If he can get back to where he was, that's a huge win for the Clippers. Could serve as a deadly third option for Mind LA. The Find the lane. One shot. GA the Houston Rockets coming off back to back losing seasons and that has been tough for that franchise and for the city and Kevin no doubt it affects the team's morale it, it's hard to find the positives and, and see the road ahead but listen you've got to stay strong and focus on just getting better every day Amir Coffey's checked in for the Clippers now into the lineup for your Clippers Amir Coffey Here's Christopher, covered by Wall. With the drive. Christopher, no good. Los Angeles leading by five. And Wall kicks to Powell. There's a screen by Covington. Los Angeles with another miss. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. Might not always fall. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. Now, Shangun, after Norman Powell, missed from long range. And it's Norman Powell with the foul. Norman Powell. That is his first foul of the game. Fourth team foul. Christopher covered by Wall. Shot clock at five. Here's Christopher. Nice defense by Robert Covington. He has the classic three and D skill set. The two passes to Wall. 